<laughs> oh, hello. Uh, welcome back to my Murphy VR. This is no complicated to explain. Um, if you're watching this, this, this VR on the uh, Cape Project and uh, Lady Krulik, um, provided that they both air on the same day or at least back day, you know, back to back, this, you know, this will be, and if they air in the order that I watch them in, this will be, um, I, I don't know what the code. But the initial, like, broke like, core episode, this will be among them. The thing is, I, this video is being done after I've done, like, all of the other episodes. Like, after, what, what was the episode, the one, um, uh, Milo World and the other episode. Milo World and the other episode. The episode can difficulty later. <laughs> um, yeah. And the other one. Yeah, yeah, I didn't watch the Cup of Cape Bowden specifically in quote the vlog until then. And the reason being is that uh, Cape Bowden, Cape I wanted to do the wrong with the Cape Bowden simply because uh, I don't think each of them have to get down a phone for some video. So I think it's just easier and way from last space to put, do both one at once. The problem is that this episode did not air the Cape Bowden Cape Bowden Cape Bowden for reason I'll get into when I get to that episode. So, I kind of to wait until the other episode perfect. In hindsight, I could have recorded the other typically for explosion, and then record one for later, and then put both, both on the same day when they air, provided they air on the same day. Um, and if they might do what they did in September Bomb Beach, one minute game on day. But, um, and if that's the case, I'll put it we'll see. Hopefully, we don't do that, but considering with their mouth of the program. There they might, they might do that to pan out. But either way, the code, from my perspective, I'm watching after a bunch of other go. My perspective might be cute. Um, but the, the other one, no one thought until this point. It kept the vocal waiting for it to air, so they'll probably air that in a bit. Anyway, Cake Explosion, they got for a segment. Um, written by, I have it up here, Valerie. Bree Iman and Marja Ard Yank. I believe her name could pop up before, I've had a hard time putting out from them before. Anyway, in this episode, a chef from the popular show Cake Explosion comes up at school. Amanda got a big fan of it again through some critical dancing. Um, she ends up getting to be on that show along with Milo and her partner, which of course will worry her. So, that's what happened. Get out of and come to watch them on that show. This one I really enjoyed. Um, I kind of wish I got new corner because I believe it definitely one of the better ones. Um, especially in the batch. Um, um, you know, can never mind them in that episode. And I think I, I do like them, but they introduced them in like that in a clumsy kind of way. Go so like kind of put a damper on it for some people. But I do believe they should be a decent idea. And each episode has done a good idea of teasing them. But not going full fork with it. Like, even the fact that my little crush on her, it can't really act the dress. You probably wouldn't even know that he had an active one if you didn't think he was a smooth operator at the time. So it's kind of balance, I think, they can kind of hit where they kind of do flirting, but they don't go too far with it. And they have some cute interaction. And the Capco Dunk hit in the typical thing of her, you realizing not to worry about it, like a thing that should not be hanged, like a gag in the episode. You know, but, um, but, you know, but, but it still works because it's still generally a nice like an and we, and we get to, and the cock and, and, hey, and, and the ending works out nicely. And it's a lot of fun, I like the montage during Cape Explosion where we're making the stuff. Yeah, okay, and the song, it clearly one made for that show, because we're gonna lie about how we can get for promotion. Come joke about the promotion part. <laughs> And then go fun back forth there. Uh, even a dupe cameo, uh, I liked in the one. Again, they did him a little more in the rip batch. Um, I didn't mind. Um, when they first cut to, like, a vow, how. I can't think about his appearance from more. Maybe you can get me a little more kind of content feel for it, even though it isn't there. And, it did, and when you pop up a second kind of time, I think it feels a little more prop relevant. And go, while it isn't in true kid, it's not. It's a little funny, at least. And we get recurring raccoon again. 
A uh, lot of raccoon. Uh, I'm watching 2018, but I got a fair bit of raccoon, like in Incredibles 2. Uh, maybe the game raccoon. Um, <laughs> but yeah, uh, uh, Rick Hawk will get a gag. Um, like my little uh, end gag. Um, they can stop thing, and then they get the guy where to high five or fist bump. Go raccoon. There's some good stuff there. Um, I like the chef guy. He's very excitable. He, he's the kind of guy you don't have time for. I think. Oh, he interrupt people. Go to him. Her name is uh, Mandalope. Then Milo Murph. Like again, and he's a very interesting character. You find that fair part of it. a lot of what he was doing is very funny. Go, uh, yeah, go, energy. You can like call the premise. Go, yeah. Black quite enjoy this one. I will get sore. Have, um. I do believe, um, the game actually came out. Anyway. Yeah, like, towards the end of the batch one, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, more episodes like this in game night. I believe I will like looking a little more, but, um, but, yeah, well, um, and hey, very good. It's probably, we're probably playing a good one, like, after the weird joke game having with me having seen episode after it. But it's probably very good one that I like there, too, don't worry. <laughs> Um, but, anyway, go, bear it in for that episode, I'm going to pause, and I'm going to watch the Forbidden episode. <laughs> but anyway, Cape Blood is still quite good, and I'll you, you me in a second. <laughs> Talk about Okay, hello, now we're back for Lady Cruller and Go. Okay. Oh boy, here we go. Okay, go. The story behind this one is basically they ended up skipping over it when they aired it in the UK, um, when they're airing it for us to watch, um, then it went straight to that one, and it won't get until it aired, I believe, in India, which apparently they have an English, like, audio feel there, and that kind of, I'm watching it now, I watch it now, and they clipped over it, and the premise of the episode is that Milo convicted Tamai to drink a woman in order to audition for the next. Trollhammer movie, the nature of the movie I'll get to, um, and then based on that premise, yeah, you can get what people automatically thought, and it's still not known whether that, considering they didn't skip over any other episode, and the episode gets over, conveniently having a man to dress joke as the premise, <laughs> yeah, you can see why some people, and some people had a lot of speculation where episode was Jimmy Lee Carter's sensitive, or, there was, yeah, they proceeded like a fan of them when the UK, you know, how 50 people saw it, but skipped over it. B, they saw the primate automatically assumed people will be offended, and just sort of wanted to be kept from Kari, or C, they are the ones offended by the conquest of, you know, a man or drink at all, and they're, fin again, they have come from a point of, you know, phobic, and fuck that, why they get to this one. And of the three, actually, I think the second one's the most likely, based on how the actual episode is. Or a fourth option, coincidence, but I kind of refuse, because they can skip any other episode, because they will skip the number one if that was the case, so I feel like the two of the most are probably the one I'm getting. But yeah, soon some people might be offended and skipped it without really thinking. Um, well, um, but either way, what we'll talk about for the, will be a hard one to talk about. <laughs> But anyway, uh, Lady Crow went back up to your friend. So, so I told you the premise, but what I didn't tell you is that this um, specific control hammer is going to be an all women reboot. Gee, I wonder what they're commenting on a few years too late. Now, to be fair, unlike the Akali Sunny episode, it did something similar. Um, this probably won't went back when that was relevant. Now, granted, when that we got book relevant, we in the middle of 2015, Milo hadn't aired yet. At Channel Gar, they were probably wrapping up PM1, even in terms of writing it. At that point, um, we went and did 10 go. We got Beth and Cupco by that. Beth been in an outline stage. So maybe, maybe soon after that kind of stuff settled, they wrote me on for this. But, but, and I guess they figured, let's go through with it. Cause it's not even like a, like a biting commentary on all that. It's not the kind of episode that's quickly meant to be a commentary on that. And half half on cone. This word called it cone, it had a sprinkling of the fact for a satire. <laughs> you know? You know, then it, it, it just started off in a kind of abusing way that the Star Trek episode did, like going over the Corona movie and talked about the missing franchise and how they 
in order to make it fresh again there, starting over. Uh, but if I just the strong corner to move recently, and this can ever convert, can get at least with the one all the way group that we got, I didn't lock the last entry, so I, but whatever. <laughs> but I guess to make fun of the, I mean, considering Spider-Man all the time he's been rebooted, I guess I make fun of the universe. <laughs> um, yeah, and then but once they get that initial joke, like, they a bit of them pitching it, go with the same thing about the woman, so, you know, after that joke, by the way, they don't comment on it for the rest of the episode, and they're going to remember going to be in the movie, you're going to be a movie, but in a different role, my go, but when, different role, when we're talking about being a different role, go up continuity, and you go, ah, we don't care about continuity, or script, we don't even read book anymore, and stuff like that, go, back to more general, uh, thing, go, <laughs> But, so, yeah, the kept going to con coming from Skeptic, but at least it can work on its own, and it's not wholly dependent to, they link the episode doesn't comment on it too much, and I actually kind of found a way it could comment on it, on it more, but still be good. Um, but anyway, the episode on its own is fine. I'm, I'm talking both in terms of adding an episode on its own, and even adding an episode that was supposedly banned. You know, when you watch the episode to see what we get it, and, and I just got put on the phone, it's fine. Um, and that may be a good expectation, got that thing, but even on the phone, I think I'm going to just okay. Um, it's more amusing than funny. I think the problem is they probably are aware of the nature of what they are doing, and they don't want to twist the humor and stuff too much, and not to like offend anyone, which may tell me they shouldn't have done it to begin with. But most of it is done, I wouldn't say tastefully, but I won't take offense. I'm not the one to talk about it, you know. Um, and I believe there was one LP episode a year ago where I talked about it. And I don't know how I handled it there, but from my perception, though, you know, just got uh, a dude. It just feels like just another sort of man a dress type joke with the human being you had like a strong dude. You know, just in order to do the part of the character who is you know strong dude. And more, and most people are comfortable with montage, and got him getting pretty. And we'll, we'll park for five of that park, we have to go because I kind of like the music and the song we played. Go work on funny gag we do there. You know, about kind of that, the cap code, the, the biggest problem I have, there's not two problems. One, it's not particularly funny. Um, it's more amusing, and I've just, they put in push the humor of Miles, but they're from deep in joke, like Miles keep fainting, or a joke at the beginning where they showed how it got pitched, or a joke at the end. <laughs> You know, I mentioned, you know, but I've got that, and the cool encounters have a minor, but a couple of, I mean, they're approaching for more garbage, and not much to that, but that one's amusing. I'm gonna die, I'm gonna have fun playing at one point. So that stuff was amusing, but the, they got to feel more strange, like they knew what they were doing, and they didn't want to, which told me they should have kind of played like a different part. Like maybe he wants to get into a movie, but he wants to play a different role, and not have it be a woman type role, and then. I don't know what we could have done, but I feel like we're become self restrained. It was more of you can so it get that funny compared to other episodes, especially episode cake bone that was a very funny episode. But this episode just felt like it's a mugging. It still got the charm of the show hack, but it's more of mugging. And their problem is the plot kinda of contrived. Like some of it for figure humor, like get that. Especially with this show where a lot of things happen for no reason. Yeah, I don't know, they could have come up with a better way to get into, you know, into that plot, like, like, why are you trying, like, from the beginning, considering, doing a, instead of trying for one of the lead roles, and fight being a man, uh, which, by the way, when they find out, they're not, the, the, no one can actually ever, like, react, and like, most people, when they see them, they're like, okay, they just don't think anything of it, like, at all, and when they find out, they're mad because, well, we don't have a man, we have a woman, that was a Shakespeare, you know, if they know that can kind of near game over nature or believe that would be weird. People could turn that by my interpretation of that they know about how someone won't like, you know. <laughs> they, you know, they don't want to uh, I don't know how to think of no um yeah, they don't want to rock it. That kind of turn that part. Go so we think reactions don't go too much. Uh, but Vogue who did find the idea bad I get that, but if you need to give a type of execution for it to be offensive, I'll make up quite that bad. 
But um, yeah, right from the beginning, he should have figured that doing a different role or something like that, you know. Now, my solution, to, well, maybe you could have had it all be like, like, hey, hey you know, because you could just, when when they get the idea, it's part of like, oh, but, well, we don't like your acting like, oh, you know what, Morgan have you, I could just, just roll, but the whole game character. But what I would have done is that maybe have them call him out and say, hey, you know, we could have done that the whole time, you know, more of a, well, big joke about how the plot could have evolved differently the whole time, because at least they would acknowledge it. It may make fun of the fact that Clone Wing Reboot could better off being packing with Torch type things. You know, like have it be in universe like he is patching. Uh, it'll be a creep situation where he's now a comporting character to like, Yeah, be more. You know, I think more of uh, you know, he should do the creed thing where packing a torch, but the original character still wearing a comporting for a role. But, um, although in the case of Ghostbuster, I don't think I would. If the movie won't put the same thing I get in, but just the fact of the torch, people still hate it regardless. I don't know why. People want something to like to even more attached to a thing they do like. Dang. But, yeah. Um, and so yeah, Fox Light could try, and it's decently amusing and entertaining, but it doesn't get particularly funny. Probably on Gold of Trying, right, too. Send anyone, in which case they should just pick a different plot if they were concerned. But, um, but the effect of material, I can't comment on it, and I don't think we can put enough for me to really care. I can if people were get offended by it, I'd be like, I perfectly believe they sh damn kind of should have read the room and recognized that maybe kind of, get it done in a tasteful enough way to wording it bad, but they should have known that kind of thing again doesn't fly much like at all. They should have just not done it. Especially if you can't contract in other way. Oh, but I don't think that's good enough for it to build too much black mark. But at the same time, got to go to all, take it on its own again, a good enough episode. It's like the Brother of Course will is one of my favorite episodes of that Ian. Um, it, it's definitely great. I'm gonna go on this kind I think I'm good enough and it's good luck. Well enough to where I do, will have to stick up for it. This one, I think it's decent, it's fine, but it's not, not and it's an interesting concept, but it's not entertaining, funny enough. To rank above, that was fine. And when something on that level, I, yeah. If Cobra Code were more offensive, I would be more up and on people. And if it were better, I'd be more defensive on it. Cobra Code was kind of disappointing. Like, if you want, like, another, if you want up to good in the one before the one, or good in another show, or good in Star Trek, you'll be disappointed. If you're looking for either the material, to go, oh my god, if you want to be one of those people going, why are we going to go, 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 then, then it's not, like, general yeah, great enough to, um, okay, the handling is back enough to get offended and carry up a that ring in, you're going to handle well, immediately enough for, you know what I mean, go, the eh, and I think that might be worse than being, like, I'm hoping for it to be good enough to want that, or even be bad enough. But I'd hope not, and I'm glad it didn't get up being worse. So if you do find the couple questionable, it could have been worse. So that is my take on Lady Crew. Got it going, it's fine. I think there have been worse episodes. I think Duke Day Out of them, for example, never got, uh, you know. Yeah, for example, I think that was much more of a mess. This one's just not that, more commuting, but not that funny, and it's a little contrived. It could have taken a little, done a little more in Blakey. You know, and I'll go feel like they shouldn't have done the comic trying to call it no longer relevant, but because it might be relevant when they started, I can't live. Right. But, but either way, the company could go perfectly fine at the go to that. Not worth getting get over, not worth banning. I think they should have just aired it, and then maybe if it don't go over or there, they could just ban it here or something. You know? But oh well. Go. So, overall, keep going. Very funny to go They could learn. Not particularly offensive, like I'm hoping, nor get that. It's decent, it's fine. It's just, you know, a little contrived and not as funny as most of the going to show are for me. Go so with fine. Okay, so yeah, that is all. Um, as for me, you know, I actually, what's for that type of code for you guys? Um, got, uh, Uh, that here would be 
duped out from the, before that one, and I just spoiled my opinion. <laughs> um, yeah, spoiler for that video. But uh, hey, you know how I feel about uh, Disco Duo Rico. Dave Tan Disco Duo. Look forward to that one. <laughs> um, uh, whoop. That'd be two episodes in a row, that'd be a little disappointing. Think, oh boy, hopefully, I end up like Nick could do over more. Which I already know how I feel about it, but anyway. Yeah, and uh, for me, a few other episodes appeared, but I don't know. I just watched the Jeff Line Get League right away. Well, it might have went to an air or, or something. But either way, but, but either way, you'll see. Oh yeah, you'll see Vlog when they appear. Go. Yeah, go so there is my uh, hot take on the episode, and I'll see you guys for Duke Tender Clover, and for me, I'll see myself, whatever. Goodbye.